I'm sure we've all gained inspiration from the demonstrable and palpable dedication of our honorees. So why is this all so important? As we have observed in the past, we are in the midst of huge change in every sector of our society and globally. In addition to working to restore public trust in our institutions and sources of information, new orders of business are being put into place and change makers are emerging everywhere, including, importantly, from younger generations. Unfortunately, the pandemic has caused further divisiveness and brought forward significant problems that stand in the way of the unity that we seek as a nation. Racism, income inequality, health inequity, and questionable leadership, to name a few. Fake news continues to confound us. The WHO and many others say fake news is interfering with attempts to deal with the coronavirus, including causing people to doubt the very safety and effectiveness of the vaccines and treatments being developed. Now, as communicators, we know that change for the better is only achieved through effective communication with the public to first create awareness and understanding of the facts and the truth, to articulate the rationale for change, and to encourage acceptance for change. All of us in the many disciplines of communications are at the center of this very important time in history with the skills and the values to help find the way forward. And this is a huge responsibility. Tonight, we have recognized and honored iconic individuals who are richly deserving of public trust. Let's follow the examples that they've set. We are the facilitators of change and this mission the restoration of public trust is critically important. In this effort, we must not fail. We must prevail on the strength of our personal commitments to integrity in public communication. We share the conviction that communicating with the public is a very high responsibility. It is a discipline that we don't take lightly and we pledge to see that it is not corrupted. So thanks to all of you tonight for being with us we look forward to seeing you next year in some venue, hopefully in a personal dinner, in person at a dinner event. As we close, we'd like to express again our sincere thanks and appreciation to our sponsors. With their support, we have been able to make this event free of charge. But the support of our sponsors goes well beyond financial help. They have all endorsed the mission of our event and join us in a strong commitment to integrity in public communication. Let's hear from a few of them. I'm Michael Sneed, the Executive Vice President for Global Corporate Affairs and Chief Communication Officer at Johnson & Johnson. Over the last year, we've seen people at their most vulnerable. They're scared, anxious, and hungry for credible information from sources they trust. By living up to the ideals the Page Center sets for us as a profession, this can be our finest hour. Hello, I'm Ken Frazier. Chairman and CEO of Merck. Our company is extremely pleased to support the Arthur W. Page Center Awards and to extend our heartfelt congratulations and thanks to Dr. Anthony Fauci, Judy Woodruff, Eugene Robinson, and Bill Heyman, stellar professionals whose trusted communications are a tremendous service to the world. So thanks again for being with us. Take care of yourselves and each other. Good night. <laughs>